So I'm out here at the park. I've got a nut ball, a uh, very minimal nut ball, like no landing gear, nothing except for the very bare essentials. Um, and it's got a Elevon setup. Never done that before. Gonna try it out. Don't have no idea if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. All right. Hand launch, no gyro, nothing. This could go pretty bad. Yeah, so that that didn't go well. <laughs> uh, it didn't have much control. It uh, did a loop, but I couldn't get it to do what I wanted. It might be tail heavy. Oh God. Yeah, it's definitely tail heavy. Or something. Oh God. Yeah. All right, try this one more time. Whoa. Okay, but it only wants to go one way. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's uh, it's very, very hard to control. Um, it really wants to turn one way. Ah, I just broke the motor mount. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that didn't work very well. Okay, I'm here at the park. There's a bit of a breeze, a bit of a wind. I'm going to try to fly this circle plane again. Uh, nutball is what it's called. With Elevon set up. Uh, no rudder. Um, no active rudder. It's got a vertical stabilizer, but I mean, uh, a tail, but it's not, it doesn't do anything. Um, anyway, I reduced the amount of reflex on the Elevons because last time it was like going into a turn and I couldn't keep it out of it. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Not sure how this is going to go. Probably not good. Here we go. It seems tail heavy. Yeah, it wants to turn one way, won't turn the other way. I maxed out the trim. I don't... Wait. Uh... Yeah, I really... Oh man, hey, we're gonna try again. Wind calm down. All right. Yeah, I'm having to give it everything. Oh no. Uh oh. Okay. Figured something out just now. Um, I think I need to get rid of all the reflex that I put in the elevons. Because when I give it down elevator, it actually flew a lot better. Okay, I don't have long, but I have managed to get this thing working at least in a somewhat flyable state. I had to make it so the elevons didn't have much reflex. And um, that seemed to take care of a lot of the bad behavior, although um, it currently does act a little bit tail heavy. Um, so it's a handful. We'll see. Let's go. Oh.
Yeah, I have to give it down elevator to fly really well, otherwise it pitches up still. Um, which is weird, but it can get to fly and it actually flies at really low throttle. Like, I think it's, what, that can't be. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at way below 50%. I'm at like 48%. Thirty-eight percent, actually, some of the time, and it still goes. If I crank it, it'll just go up. I don't have much battery left, so. But it's a real handful at full throttle. Oh. It's also hard to keep orientation. I'm going to bring it down because I don't know how much battery I've got left. It's close. I took off with 40%. <laughs> Just expecting to get a minute in the air. Oof. It's a little hard, but... Alright, so... I mean, it flies, right? It's not the best. I still have work to do to make it fly better, probably. But this is... 244 grams with this battery and these electronics. So under the 250 gram weight limit, FAA remote ID weight limit and um, pretty big battery, 850 milliamp 3S and I could get away with a 2S. Okay, so circle plane at the park and talk about what I've done and what this is and how I got success with it. So, um, this weighs with this exact setup. So I've got an extra battery in the front, a 450 milliamp 3S just for weight. The 800 millimeter, uh, 800 milliamp hour 2S is what I'm going to try to fly with next. Together, 255 grams uh, for this setup. Two 9 gram Metal Gear servos. Elevon setup, right? Um, there is no rudder, okay? Uh, no controllable rudder. That's just for yaw stability. And a 1806 2250 or 80 kV motor, I can't remember which, it's the flight test radial, and a 6x4 prop. Um, there's 3 degree um, right thrust, and I have no reflex in the, um, in the elevons. I tried with reflex and I could not control it. Um, I previously flew with this 850 milliamp hour 3S and that comes in at 244 grams um, total all up weight but um and it, it flies okay but um I'm gonna see how it flies on 2S now. 2S flight. Here we go. Okay. It can fly with 2S. I am above 50% throttle. I'm around 60 probably. 60-ish, 65. It actually, uh, it's not too bad. I actually kind of like it on 2S. It's uh, not too much to handle. Let's punch it. It's full throttle. Can still do loops. All right, 2S actually pretty good with this. Surprised. I almost like this better. It's really chill. 
but um, yeah, it's not bad actually. Oh, hitting some wind, hitting some wind, punch out of it. Still has a tendency to fly up more than it should, even with a bit of trim down, still wants to go up some, but that could also be the wind. There's breeze up there. It's hard to tell. I'm not very good at trimming planes. Actually, I'm really bad at it. It's hard because I have to keep flying overhead because of the sun. I can't look directly at the sun. So I have a really weird path I can fly here right now. can do some pretty steep banked turns if you give it some throttle. Yeah, does all right. Let's get down low. I'll probably crash. I'm bad at flying low. Oh. Alright, so I'm here at the park again. I have I have got my Maytech F405 WMN flight controller on this thing now and configured um, along with, you know, GPS, all that stuff. And it still comes in under 450 grams uh, because before I was using another battery to add weight and now I'm I've got a 800 milliamp 2S battery. Um, it should work pretty well. I flew it very briefly just to make sure the that it would take off and seem to fly okay in my backyard before you know having to crash land it. <laughs> and uh, it worked fine. So it's a little windy. I'm I'm going to attempt to fly it and run a waypoint mission, but we'll see. And yeah, crossing my fingers for good luck. There, it's doing a mission. It's got a flight controller on it. It's actually, it's just in loiter mode. I actually have to, oh shoot, I gotta bring it back right now. I'm lower on battery than I thought. So here it is, it's on fly-by-wire A mode. I try to bring it down. There's a dog in the field right now, so I gotta be real careful about sticking to this other side, and, and that's kind of hard right now. See, I'm at 36% battery, so I'm just gonna bring it down kind of slow in fly-by-wire A mode and keep it over the field. I'm at really low throttle, just drifting down. Here it comes. It's working though, you can see. Okay, I'm low. I can fool around a tiny bit. Oh, it's not tuned right now at all. So it's uh. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you about it if you want. <laughs> 